All right, so nice we're doing it twice. Jose Bautista and the Toronto Blue Jays tearing it up on the field, just coming off of a sweep of the Yankees. Now we're talking about this great golf tournament. This is all in support of the Bautista Family Education Fund. Welcome back, number 19 himself, Joey Bats, Jose Bautista, everyone. Too quiet in the studio. I know. Too quiet. They're all in shock, in awe, watching <laughs> you right now. Um, first of all, we got to say congrats again. All the Twitter love is coming in, and I know you're so active on Twitter with all of your fans. You're really engaging with them. Uh, what do you want to say to your fans? Because they are coming out in droves to watch you and the boys. No, the support has been great. I mean, the support since I got traded here has been great. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we understand that fans and ourselves, we all, everybody wants to win. And uh, the playoffs haven't been here in a while. We're mm -hmm. looking to change that, but the momentum is great. The energy is awesome, and people are right behind us. So yeah. we love the support. Thank you. Yeah, you had an incredible weekend in New York. It was just like one after another. Your homer yesterday. That one, I felt like it was going to go way out of the park. It was gone, gone, gone. Do you think of it when you go up to bat? Do you think of that you're going to hit a home run, or is it just let's just see what I can do here? I'm not thinking, but I'm hoping. <laughs> I, I definitely try. You know, I swing hard every time, and I try to hit the ball hard. Uh, it just happens to go over the fence every now and then. So <laughs> I'm not going to complain when it yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, pretty amazing. Okay, let's talk about what's going on today. Uh, you have this great uh, charity golf tournament where you've got tons of people coming out, tons of VIPs. This is all for Jace Care as well as your foundation. Uh, let's talk about your foundation first before we talk about the tournament. So, like I said before, we help the student athletes mm -hmm. accommodate their life, uh, help with the financial aid when, when needed. Uh, a lot of these kids, they sacrifice themselves a lot. Um, in order to, to you know, graduate and go to school. And uh, we try to help them in any way that we can. Uh, our GPA uh, all across the board for every single recipient of, mm -hmm. of assistance has been 3.47, which is awesome. Pretty incredible. We've had seven graduates since last year. We had our first one last December. Uh, the kids are killing it in the classroom, and, and that's what it's all about. We're giving them a chance, and they're coming through. What's so important, I know, growing up for you, baseball was a priority, but your parents said you can't forget about school and education. So how has that helped you through your career as an athlete? That's right. That's exactly the message that I received at home. I could only play baseball after I got my school work done. Mm -hmm. um, that helped me, you know, succeed in life, helped me figure things out and, and try to be smart about everything and, and understand the mechanics of whatever I'm involved in. And I think it's definitely helped me uh, through life and anything that I've done. You went back for your business degree and you're doing a whole slew of things. Now, your foundation is helping people not just here in Canada, the U.S., around the world, back home in the Dominican Republic. How does that make you feel now that you're helping all these up-and-comers? Because some of these kids from back home are sort of being scouted at age 12. Yeah. It's great to give back. It's great to assist others. You know, mm -hmm. when I came here to, well, to the United States first and, and then ended up here in Canada, I came because somebody else helped me. So I never forgot about that and it's time to pay it back. It's, I've been doing it for four years now. Mm -hmm. So um, it's something that you never forget and then you try to pass it on to others and hopefully those kids pass it on to somebody else at some point. So important. The tournament today, you've got tons of VIPs coming. So you've got some of your current teammates and past Blue Jays as well, right? Yeah, George Bell's coming out. Some of the hockey guys, PK Subban's gonna be there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have. Uh, Musicians, Gord Banford's gonna be there. It's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be really exciting, and we're looking, hopefully, that the rain holds up, and yes. we're looking to have a, a, a lot of guys that can really play some golf. Josh Donaldson is a scratch golfer. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. Is he Donaldson's a good golfer? Great, great golfer. Really? Yes. I've got to ask you, since you know Donaldson, you got Tulo, you've got Price. This is an incredible team right now. The morale seems to be way, way, way up there. It's been a while since we've seen it in the dugout like that. How are you feeling with the dynamic? Surprisingly, <clears throat> with all the dynamics and then the new people coming in, we're all getting along great. Mm -hmm. It's a great group of guys. Alex Antopoulos has done an awesome job not only bringing in quality players, but quality people. So mm -hmm. we're enjoying ourselves and we're having a lot of fun winning ball games. Very cool. Um, more information about the uh, Celebrity Golf Classic is all on our website. You can learn more about the foundation as well as how you can help out. Breakfasttelevision.ca. Lastly for you, you have the best handshakes. Can you show me just one? Um, He's like, this is a secret right now. No, it's not a secret, but let me. The, the easiest one is the one that I do with Chris Colabello. Okay. Obviously, he's Italian, and, and then we just Two? slap twice, and then we do the molto oh, okay, bello. Okay, okay. All right, ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Molto, molto bello. bello. Yeah, there you go. Over to you, Kev. <laughs> I'll teach you.